Hello, I'm George Kruger. I'm the assistant professor here at the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Today we're going to be talking about markup and margin. These concepts are often confusing to students and I'm here to explain what the difference is between them and how we can uh, use them in managing businesses. So here we go. All right. Margin, first of all, the de definition of margin and markup, they are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. Okay. That is it. Margin is what you get when you have a selling price minus your cost of goods equals your margin. Now if you remember your P&L, whenever you have a selling price minus your cost, you have a gross margin. We're just going to call it margin today. This is your margin today. Now, and so let's say that we buy something for a dollar. It costs us 50 cents. We now have a 50 cents margin. And we have 50 cents of margin. That margin of here, of our selling price, is 50%. Okay, that's a 50% margin. Margin and markup are two different things. Now, when we go to markup, markup is the percent that the selling price is over your cost. Okay? So let's say we buy something for cost at 50 cents, and we have a markup to a dollar. That markup is 100 percent because it's twice that. So markup always works off of cost. Markup always works off of cost and you go up. So you would take this times 100 percent and you would get um, a dollar. Margin is always involved down here and it's a percentage of your selling price. They are two different things. So if I was to bring in, um, and so oftentimes I'll say mark up something and get a 50 percent margin mark up something and get a 50% margin, and students will say, I just take it times 1.5. That would give me a 50% markup and give me a 50% margin. That is wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Don't ever do that. Ever do that. If I want a 50% margin, I have to mark it up 100%. If I take, let's take that though. Let's take 1.5 times our 50 cents. That is going to equal what? 75 cents, right? 1.5 times 50 is 75 cents. That's 75 cents minus our 50 cents cost of goods gets us 25 cents. And voila, we have a 33% margin. 33% margin. There, markup and markup margin is not the same things. So what you really need to keep it, keep an example of, or Keep in, mind, keep in mind, what uh, what numbers do you have, and what are we going to work with, and what are we trying to get to? All right, so let's go to a different look here. Let's go to a different look here, and uh, let's say that I have this product. Okay, this is a product that sits on the shelf at a retailer, and this product costs eight dollars and ninety cents. That's our cost. And I want to get a 35% margin. Oh no, what do I do? Because you know you can't take sometimes 1.35. That would be wrong. You don't get a margin. What markup am I going to have to get to get a 35% markup? A 35% margin, I'm sorry. So this would be our selling price up here. minus our cost equals whatever it is of a 35% margin. Now the book gives you all kinds of formulas and everything else, but this is the way I figure it. I just take 1 minus 0.35 equals 0.65, and then I take $8.90, and I divide that by 0.65, and that will equal $13.70. Okay? That's how I figure it. You can go through the calculations in the book, you'll arrive at the same number. We always check our number. $13.70 minus $8.90 um, 
gets us to 80, would give us $4.80, right? No. Yeah, $4.80 in margin. That margin, that margin into here is going to give us our 35% margin. And as you can see, it's about one third here. So that is our margin versus our markup. Now, if you were to do this, um, that equals that. Now, let's say you were to take this times 1.35, which is wrong. You would end up with a price over here, a markup. All right. So our markup here equals our markup ends up being 54 percent. 1.54 times 8.90 gets you $13.70. Our markup is 54%. So we have to have a 54% markup to get 35% margin. They are two different numbers. Okay? So always work through your calculation. Your selling price minus your cost of goods equals your margin. Your markup goes from here to here. This here is 54%. That is how you figure it. Always work through the numbers. Because if you were not, if you didn't, if you just took it times 1.35, you're going to end up with a much lower uh, margin because your 35% margin here would have to be $4.80. So 1370 minus 890 equals $4.80. So this is how you work through a problem. So, so this is all about as clear as I can make it. Here's the here's the process that you follow when you are faced with a problem. First of all. Do you, are you working margin or markup? They are not the same. Okay? Are this a margin or markup? Number two, work through the math. I like to just do basic uh, do, do a basic P and L on the market on the math. A basic P and L is my selling price minus my cost of goods sold equals my margin. Then I go from here to here for my markup. So if I have markup, let's say somebody you get in product and it costs a dollar and they want a 40% markup, that's easy. That's just times 1.4 because if you're already starting with markup. So that would be $1.40. And then you would have 40%, you would have 40 cents margin. And then that margin here, this would be, uh, it's going to be less than 40%. It's probably in the neighborhood of 32 or 33%, somewhere in that range for margin versus markup, 1.4 markup. If I uh, have to start, if I have to go with, if I have a selling price and I need a certain margin, I just work through the math, and then always check your work. Always check your work. Take your selling price, minus your cost of goods, get you to your margin. It takes practice. Work through the problems in the book. Work through these type of problems. Be disciplined. Don't just take the easy answer at the start. It's probably wrong. All right, that's all, to, that's all for today on margin versus markup, and good luck with your math.